I'm Jennifer Angel, these are your stars for May, Pisces. Now there's a full moon this month, as every month. This month it's in your solar sixth house. So what can happen over this month is you may just uncover other people's intentions. Uh, so somehow if somebody's up to no good or even if they are up, you know, doing something nice for you, then it's almost like you can find out from a, another area. Um, you know, perhaps you overhear somebody talking or somebody tells you something, they don't know the situation. So uh, if it's something nice that you're uncovering and you're spoiling the surprise, then um, so be it. But if, you know, if you manage to be in earshot to uncover somebody's intentions who are not uh, who do not have your best intentions at heart, then of course it's a very good thing. So uh, look, listen and learn is the, is the key for there. Now let's have a look at your um, career and money. So life can move up a scale this month, but you don't want to take any risks with money. You don't want to, it's almost like extra money is there but there's also a temptation to go out and spend it so you know it's nice to have a spending spree if you've got sort of an endless money tree sitting in the backyard or printing machine in the back room but you know if you don't then it really it's better to have some security now also with money you want to make sure that all your dealings are kept at the highest level of integrity and keep in mind also, you know, not everything you do is going to please everybody. So be conscious of, you know, don't try to be everything to everyone because you can't. It's, in, it's impossible. It's like you do one thing for somebody and you're going to let someone else down. So what you want to do in this case, part C, is you want to make sure that you're feeling right and good about the intention and the decisions that you make around money, okay? And that's all you can do. What other people do and feel about, you know, from that point is you don't have any control over that. The only thing you have control over is how you put your dealings um, out and your intentions around money, okay? So keep that in mind. Now the Sun and Jupiter spark some interest in a creative level this month. So the Sun and Jupiter, the Sun is our most intense energy. Jupiter is the planet of expansion and abundance. So they have a very positive connection. They conjunct there uh, together. And for you, it's going to spark create creativity. Now you're highly creative, inspired, um, imaginative sign anyway. So you know now you can really just get that spark to move forward. So opportunities that are previously not there or that you may not have considered before can start to open up now for your review as well. You may find another way to do something you thought that was perhaps, uh, you know, gone or outdated. Let's have a look at love and romance. So there's a new start in your love life. You can, you know, connect or reconnect with someone new or if you, or possibly meet somebody new. So it's one of those periods in the year where love is certainly around you. There's also uh, communication with family members as well. So um, it's likely you'll be asked for advice or somebody will, you'll be somebody's go-to. So you want to be there, try to be there when they need you to be because sometimes you say you know oh okay well you know let's schedule that for the day after tomorrow um, the need goes away and if you can be there for uh, people at this level then it's what helps to build the depth of a relationship okay so try to sort of keep that in mind this is also a good month to do a spring clean around your home so there's a lot of energy around your soul, fourth house, all around home and family. And if you can, you know, just make your home um, house more of a, or your abode more of a home and beautify it so it's a, more of a charming, pleasing, peaceful place to come home to, then that can change your whole energy. And being a Pisces with such a sensitive energy, you really need that. You really need that sort of sanctuary uh, temple to come home to. It's very important for you. 
Now your defining day, I've said, is May the 13th, such a positive day with the Sun and Jupiter connecting. So, and as I said, for a creative project for you, you can really get the spark to go ahead. Your lucky numbers for the month are 9, 10, 13, 14 and 15. Left space there for you to put your own number in. So. Um, I hope you have a great month. Certainly a lot of good things coming up for you for, for this year and this is almost like the start of it launching off Pisces. So um, I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next month.